Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. I just changed this flame sensor and I'm going to show you in this video how to test one. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. We just completed a follow up service call for this Goodman package unit. We have a standard cooling system here but for heating we use a furnace. So. I actually just replaced a couple controls and this flame sensor was one of them and I get a lot of requests on how to check one of these so I'm going to show you how to check this using DC microamps. Let's go ahead and get into it. So a flame sensor actually sits right on the flame. So in this furnace you're going to look for your gas lines, your manifold and these are the burners. So you're going to follow it and you're going to find something with, with one wire on it. And that's this piece right here and it sits right in front of here where the flame comes out and this is actually a safety device that basically ensures that the system the gas is ignited and you have a flame because if not well that's another problem that you don't want to have <laughs> so pretty much if you're having a, a common issue you might see with this is basically it goes through the entire sequence and the flame starts but it doesn't stay on and it's because this sensor is not proving uh and not sending back a pro the proper signal in dc microamps to say hey that things are lit it could be dirty or it could be faulty there's a proper way on how to check this so well, the question is how do you check it if there's only one wire so this is what you're going to do you're actually going to pull this off all right you're going to put one lead on your meter on here on the terminal for the flame sensor and you're gonna put the other lead in between here so from here one side of the meter one lead here and the other lead there basically you're putting it in series and you're gonna set your meter right here to DC microamps I'm gonna show you how my my meter is set up so I have a set in DC microamps and right there we have the machine on right so one lead right is going on to the wire that was connected to the flame sensor the other side is connected directly to the flame sensor I got a clamp on that one and like this is just like a hands-free approach just to show you guys how this works but you're gonna once there's actually a flame what you're gonna want to do is see what kind of microamp reading you get and that will deter and if you even get one and that or how low it is or whatever and compare that to the specs you know made by the manufacturer and yeah you're only going to see it when the flame is present and i'll show you another way how to check it if it's actually doing its job in another way as well all right inducer motor started pressure switch to close we should get a flame Right there we got a flame right there see how we got DC microamps 4.6 there you go 4.7 that's how you get the reading when it's actually enveloped in the flame itself 4.8 so first things first you're gonna get the DC microamp reading and you're gonna compare that to the specs by the manufacturer that's how you're gonna determine what's going on um, also, if you get a super low reading, like you know you're bad or you don't get any reading at all, you know you're bad, take a look at it, see the physical condition of it. A lot of the time these things just need to be cleaned, but after some time, it's better they just get replaced. You're not going to get away with that little dollar bill trick, cleaning it, <laughs> cleaning it up with a little scotch pad or whatever. But anyways, another thing you want to do is that when you remove the wire, you want that flame to stop. And I think removing the, the lead from the meter will do the same thing. right there I pulled out the wire which basically was like pulling out the wire from the control right there and the flame stopped you're gonna want to make sure because this is a safety device you're gonna want to make sure the flame stops okay oh and it's trying again and it's not gonna hold because there's no wire there anyways right there it went off again this one checks out we actually just replaced it but yeah <laughs> it's good to check it as well all right it is time to put this wire back 
pull on it make sure you got a good connection there and there you have it here's the flame sensor this is a very very basic and simple control but super effective and extremely extremely important we're gonna wrap this video up here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time